DXP Diecast Racing. Still a little testing today. I got a couple of cars that have never seen the track before. A couple of Matchbox right here. Got the Matchbox Corvette. Seems to have done pretty well on some other tracks. This is a little bit of a beater. We're going to put him on track, see if we can get any speed out of him. And then I've also got this Shelby Daytona. Look at that. Had a buddy who had one of these cars. Love that car. Hood's a little bit catawampered. Look at it. Old beater cars. We're going to see if we get some speed out of them. Here, let's, let's see what they weigh. And I don't even know what we're dealing with here. Worked them all up just a little bit earlier. That's 44.38. And this one is 45.94. So they're both in the 40 range. Let's give them a couple of runs down the track. See what we can do here. Let's put the old... Been doing a little racing out here earlier. Put that over there. Let's get a few times here. Let's start with the Corvette. I don't know if these cars are going to be fast enough to get in or not. Like I said, these are just a bunch of beaters that I picked up a while back and have yet to put them on the track. And I was like, yeah, let's put them on the track. Give them Matchbox a run today. Sounds rough as a cob. 2310, that ain't going to get you anywhere. Rough as a cob. So... Looks like this video may be pretty short. <laughs> Rough as a cob. Uh, that sounds horrible. 2315, yeah, that ain't. You, you're not going to even get in, dude. Ain't no sense in even trying that mess. Here, let's try this Daytona. Try this Daytona, see if it's in a little bit better shape. I didn't realize the hood was all cattywampered on that one. He sounds a lot better. Ooh, 2205. He's faster, too. A whole lot faster. 2205. That ain't bad at all. Not bad at all. So if we can make him a little bit faster. Oh, man. He sounds pretty good. 2204. That ain't bad. Here, let's put him up and see if he'll... If he's got enough to get in here, I don't know if he does or not. Gatekeeper for this class is a gold GHO Bader Stingray. Got these Bader cars going at it. Got these Bader cars going at it. Got the Dodge Daytona versus the Corvette GHO. Y'all see that GHO race over there at Commotion? Check it out. Happened a couple weeks ago. Look at the Matchbox, 2201 to a 2204. Oh, the Matchbox right here. 2201, time to beat. We are not setting the world on fire, but if we can find just a little bit of speed, Somewhere along the lines. We'll take it. Ready, set, go. Woo, 198. He didn't get him. He did not get him. Close. He was a 202. I wonder if we can get him into the sub 190. So let's try it again. Corvette 1. Corvette 1. If this guy can't get into the... Uh, Get into the 190s. We'll put him back up. Ready, set, go. 201, 199. He's right there at it. Just not enough. Just not enough. So that guy's going to keep him out. Well, not going to be a super long video. Stuff like that going on. Put you over here. Well, Matchbox? Mm, not quite. I got another one in here. I wasn't going to put him on a track. I figured that those might do a little bit better than that. Here, check this guy out. Got another one of these guys right here. Let's see what he weighs. Let's see what he weighs. Hope y'all are doing pretty well out there. 
51.83. We'll give him a couple of runs down the track, too. Just to see what is going on. Had a lot of good racing here lately. If y'all watch some of these other channels. Over there at Scale Racing Channel. It's had some good races. Modified and stock. Even a grudge match. Between Blue Line and Elevation Diecast. I sent a few cars to Elevation Diecast. Check it out. See how good old DXP did. Or how bad he did. Whichever one, whichever your point of view is. Sounds pretty good. 220, he ain't running too good, though. This matchbox may need a little bit of work. Chase Family Racing gonna have a matchbox challenge. Check him out. That race is coming up. 220-222, not too good. Don't think you're going to have anything. We'll run you one more time for the case. And that's all right. We'll work these cars up a little bit better. Dust them up a little bit better. See if we can't make them get in there. 22-16, eh, a little bit faster. We'll give them a shot anyway. Give him a shot. Gatekeeper right here. That weight class. Is this McDonald's car? Oh, McDonald. Had a farm. E I E I O. McDonald's car going in lane two. Got the old matchbox over there in lane one. Ready, set, go. A decent race. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Figuring out what's causing some of that right there. Every blue moon. I've been racing out here all afternoon. It's only happened, I think, once in the past couple hours. I pick up the video, and what happens? It does it. The switch right here. It's all in the release on this switch right here. And I think I may have a little issue with the wiring, maybe, possibly. Ready, set, go. But it does not happen very often. 2009, 2215 happens more when I'm filming than anything else. 2209. And it'll change lanes on you, too. Well, let's not discuss that. Talk about this racing right here. Good stuff going on. Bunch of guys racing. Ready, set, go. Ooh, did he get him? Did he get him? 22.06, he did. Wow, he picked up speed. He got him. Here, let's race them again. 22.06, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Pick up some speed. We'll put them in the same. We'll run them again. I like it. Ready, set, go. A little bit closer, but he still got him. 22-11. They're not breaking any speed records. By any stretch. New track out here. Running really well. Really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. Glad we made the switch. Did he get him? Man, he got him again, 206. Look at that. Didn't think he, anybody was going to get in, but look at that right there. He got in. This guy right here, these are the cars are a little bit low for this track. Yeah, that one. Let me see him again. Oh, if I don't think you got anything for this guy. I think you got anything for that Penzo car. We'll put you up there against it. The Penzo car, these pro racing cars uh, in Seamless, they seem like they're made for it. They love this track. Pro racing cars love the Seamless. Ready, set, go. As you can see, as he pulls away to nothing, Kind of funny, 
Speaking of these kind of cars, I sent my laser wheel 300 to elevation and he he was currently ranked number two and he was a dog over there and what's funny is i sent him to scale and he was a dog over there a year ago too so i'm thinking that 300 probably won't get sent out anymore 2197 you can't handle the pins all let's see you here Let's see here. He barely beat him. He should go to get some Murata. Let's go against the Murata. The red Murata. Right here. Beater versus beater. I like these beater cars. Usually you can find them kind of cheap. If you're lucky. And when they run straight, you can't beat them. Ready, set, go. Ooh, what Murata got him. 2199 to a 2208. So none of these cars are extremely, extremely fast. Track records in the 2160s. So you can see a 2199 is way off the pace. I gotta write my new track records down since I switched over. I haven't done any of that. Ready, set, go. Yeah, Murata got him. All right. 2198 so get all these cars right here you know when i before i switched over 2150 was my goal get all the cars under 2150 we're gonna see which way which one's the gatekeeper it's really for just the gatekeeper spot but that's okay this is a so right here's the old dodge concept from the last video that made it in and became a gatekeeper i got a few of that made it up in the ranks for that little race. Ready, set, go. Dodge concept, 2208. That's not a good time. 2217. 2208 is the time. Yeah, that 300 uh, did not do very well over there. It's kind of shocking that it didn't. But you remember when Mr. David came over here Last year, uh, concept got him. So we got a new gatekeeper anyway. 12 to 14. And David came over here last time. He uh, he whipped me pretty good in the ultra light division and the lightweight division. New gatekeeper. And uh, I got him with my number one, and I got him with my number one here. But I didn't do so good down there. <laughs> so... A funny car is all changed. I got cars sent out everywhere. Virginia. They're in Tennessee. They're in California. They're in uh, South Carolina. They're Colorado. They're all over the place. Yeah. So this is my current rankings. And we'll see if we can't get them a little bit faster. These guys right here are not going to make it. Let me give him another shot. These guys right here, I'd like to work on these tires a little bit more. This guy right here, like a bumblebee going down the track. Not good at all. Didn't even spin that well. He had a little bit of rust in there, and I probably need to get a little bit more of that rust out inside of there. But he didn't sound good. But anyway, this guy right here, the old janky hood, I guess it broke. No, it's inside. Oh, is it plastic? Yeah, the plastic broke in there. Plastic broke on that side. But anyway, fun to run anyway. I didn't have this casting at all. So now I got one anyway. Maybe it can be a mod or something. It's a metal base. Maybe I can make him an ass. Got some weird. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And if you don't ever run again, you don't ever run again. Who cares, right? Because we got a lot of cars and a lot more running to do. DXP Diecast Racing. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do. Free country. For now, anyway. See y'all fellers out on the track.